when you're ready to start on the nose of your creature, um, all animals have different noses, but usually the first thing that you'll end up doing is you'll look at pictures of your creature's nose and typically you'll start with a sort of ball of clay and if you don't have anything sculpted so let's say you just have the head and you don't have any special bump out for your creature's nose this is where you're going to want to actually put that bump out so what i'm doing is i'm kind of forming this nose like piece and then I'm making sure it's kind of flat on one side so I can slip and score it. And what this does is it sort of gives you a basis for where you're going to put your nose and, and how it's going to look. And you can go ahead and carve it out. I'd make sure that the clay you're adding is pretty plastic so that you can carve, do a lot of carving on your piece. Now you'll want to blend it into your face because your creature's noses don't just stick off kind of weirdly. Um, so you'll want to do some blending here. And then because it's plastic, I can do a little bit of molding here. And I'm gonna put in the nostrils, so pay attention to, your animal and how their nose looks with the nostrils. I can use my finger. If it's really tiny though, you can just use the end of your needle tool. And then usually their nostrils kind of curve around here. And if I have to build up the bridge of the nose, I can do that. Um, whenever you're building up areas, be cautious of the amount that you're building up. So I might have to go in the back of my face at some point and carve out these areas that I'm um, building up more. And oftentimes animals where they have two nostrils, they actually have um, two sort of bones coming up here. So one way you can get that effect is going to be through slipping and scoring two coils and then blending them. Oftentimes the nose ends up having some texture on it as well. So pay attention to the texture of your nose. Um, if it's a pet's nose, oftentimes it'll have this sort of bubbly texture. So finding anything that's pointed like the end of a brush will help you sort of get that texture in there.